We don't know how just a little bit of heart, because we created coherence at our family dinner table one night, how that affects the choice that's being made halfway around the world, but we know it does. Now, Howard said something very powerful. Scientists have to be scientific. And I come from the world of science and I know that. Science doesn't have all the answers. And we can't say that things happen because we are coherent. What we can say is that there's a very high correlation. A high correlation. In the early 1980s, during the first Israeli-Lebanese war, 200 people were trained to feel peace in their hearts, not think it in their minds, and not hammer peace into submission with gunpoint for the world around them in the Middle East. They were taken inside the Israeli-Jordanian borders and Lebanese borders. And during the times those people were feeling peace, crimes against people declined, emergency hospital room visits declined, terrorist activities stopped. And when they stopped what they were doing, all those statistics reversed. Science did it again and again and again to make sure it wasn't a fluke. It was not. There was an effect. And they said, hmm, there's a high correlation between what these people are doing and the effect in the world, but we can't prove the link. All right, we can't prove the link of what coherence is doing in our lives. And we don't have all the answers, and we could study this another 100 years and still not have all the answers. But what we know is this, there is an effect, and we can apply what we do know to help us to become better people and create a better world. And we can do it tonight. We can do it tonight. All life is connected through the magnetic fields of the Earth the very fields that are being measured by the GCI project that's happening in your backyard that needs your help tonight because it's our project. Howard showed you this, this chart, 9-11. This, what he didn't tell you is that these satellites that made the measurements, they were 22,000 miles above the surface of the Earth. Here's why that's important. It would take an awful lot of a heart field to reach 22,000 miles if it was a linear projection, a linear experience. The studies suggest it's not linear. We don't need seven billion people all feeling the same thing. A relatively few number of people that have learned to clearly speak the language of coherence through the heart have a profound, loving, nurturing, lasting effect and the beauty is all that we're invited to do is live in our living rooms. You don't have to sit down and say, okay, heal the world, you know, heal the Middle East, heal this. It's just about becoming, becoming that coherence in our lives. Beyond any reasonable doubt, you and I are part of the field that links all life on this planet together. Howard said this is a hypothesis, that strong collective emotion has this impact. It is a hypothesis. It is a fact that coherence has a positive impact on your life and my life and in the communities where it's practiced. That's a fact. So while we can study this another 100 years, we still may not have all the information, but we do know that we can apply what we know so far to become better people and create a better world. I think it's no accident that it's only now when we're faced with the greatest number of challenges that threaten the greatest number of people in our civilization. It's only now that we're learning a language that speaks to our bodies as well as the world beyond our bodies. Isn't that interesting? It didn't happen 50 years ago. It may not have made sense 50 years ago. It's only now. So what I can say to you right now as you all are here, the stage on this planet is set. We've put something into motion. No one knows for certain how it's going to turn out. Because the choice is still being made and you're doing the choosing. Your heart is an organ that was built to speak the language that communicates with the stuff that holds this world together. Stage is set. Future's waiting. <laughs> choice is ours. When's the time? Now. The time is right now. And that's the end of what I want to say to you. That's the beginning of where I think we're going to go with this tonight.